Hi, this is Sandy. Welcome to my channel, Sandy's Handiwork, and week four of the Happy Mail Monday collaboration hosted by Mandy's Place. Each week, we're here creating goodies to place in our Happy Mail swap with our collab partners. The collaborators are listed below. Please remember to visit their channels today for more crafty goodness. This week, I've created first aid kits. Let's take a look. I created my bag with 80 pound cardstock using a Chamel die. Here I'm applying my double sided adhesive tape, which I like on crafts like this. A lot of times I will use my art glitter glue. But since this was handy, I grabbed the tape and used it instead. It's not going to be much stress on the box, so you don't have to worry about it coming apart. It should stay pretty secure. Right now, I am folding on the score lines. The score lines are pretty faint, so I'm sorry for being off camera, but I really had to pull it up close to see some of them and try to get them precise. So here I am um, folding the box in half. Um, it's a fairly simple die. Um, it was easy to use, but it's quite small. It's maybe about three by two inches. The bag turns out to be maybe, uh, maybe about three. Yeah, it looks to be about three. If I look at the graphic lines on, on the screen, they, it appears to be about three, three by two. Um, so here I'm using my bone folder to crease my scores crease the score lines and it's very easy to assemble this box I didn't have much trouble with it uh, it didn't come with instructions as most dies I've noticed do not so I believe I was viewing um, I did view this online someone actually created it's a six piece die set and it has like a flag and some words and different little things that you can cut out to use on your box but I didn't need them today um, I created my own labels because I wanted it to be a first aid kit be used as a first aid kit so I created my own first aid label which you'll see coming up um, here's the bottom of the box like I said, it's it was really easy to put together. It had very it, on on for the sides. It had very faint, um, like score lines, and it did pick up on this paper. But on the designer paper that I used in the next segment. To create this bag the lines didn't appear as well this bag folded quite crisp you see it can stand up on this section of the bag on this bag there's the labels that I created right here and I'm gonna apply that to the front of this bag first on this bag with this paper I believe it was also 80 pound paper this is more of the um authentic checks and dots pad that i like so much that i'm using as my uh theme paper for my happy mail they didn't cut out as well they were really a lot fainter you couldn't really see those side score marks so i kind of had to fold it ahead of time and so I just wanted to assemble this one as well. Uh, just so I could see how it looked in the white paper and also a uh, colored paper. And I think I like them both, actually. I really um, didn't favor either one. I thought they were equally cute. <laughs> they were equal in their cuteness. So, um... Here I am assembling the bottom of the box again, holding the bottom, and 
This is very easy to complete. Um, I'm enjoying creating for this collaboration. I actually have created a lot of things that I have not bothered to record. I have a lot of photos though, so I might just do a cumulative video with just still shots of the different things I've already created to go into the Happy Mail. Or I can leave it as a surprise for the recipient. They don't want to know everything you're sending. This collab is, is for nine weeks and we're going to create nine items to include in our Happy Mail package. But that doesn't mean that we're only going to include nine items in our Happy Mail package. It's Happy Mail. So who knows how many goodies will be in that package. I'm going to stuff mine with as many as can fit. And there you go, it's all assembled here. What I noticed um, when I printed out my labels for these bags, uh, my ink, for some reason, it put like a black line at the top of the cross. So I had to come up with a way to cover that line. So I decided to cut these little flowers. I decided to use these little flowers that I created using a dye that I got at Tuesday morning. It's called, I can't remember, but they're these little, they do mini punches. So I decided to punch out some flowers with some um, glitter paper, pastel glitter paper and adhere them over the top of the cross where the line is so now you can't see it and some leaves i also put a had a little dye that created like a little stems and with leaves and i assembled that behind it so here i am uh, adhering those mini i call them micro flowers and i'm adding some zig some zigs it's called zazz it's like stickles it's um and they're sparkly i think that was a champagne color and i also used a silver color here so I, I used this look before on a couple of cards and i really liked it i really like those mini flowers i might even do some die cuts and put those in my happy mail because they're quite useful for many different things i've put them on to decorate. They're kind of like using um, uh, that, the word escapes me right now. Ooh, you put them in happy mail. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll come back to me. But anyway, here are the bandages. I love these bandages. These are cut with the dye I purchased from AliExpress also using the authentic checks and dyes paper and um, this paper is double-sided so I cut some from each for each side because I just loved the way they came out the contrast so here they are I'm just um, assembling them so you can see them and they are so cute so that's how I came up with the idea for a first aid kit because I had created the bandages and I've um, stiffened them up by backing them with cardstock so that they'll be so so they're nice and firm and then I just wanted to know how how could I package them I was thinking how could I package them they're band-aids and I was like they're bandages so how would I yeah band-aid is a brand name they're bandages so how would I package them up and I said, oh, a first aid kit. And that's when it came to me to create a first aid kit to put them in. So here I am putting them in the first first aid kit and making them ready. Sometimes that little slit, it creates a slit, which is great. And the bag closes all on its own. 
but sometimes you have to get that little slit to cooperate with you and here I am using my pokey tool to open it up a little bit and there you go and there they are and there's my first aid kit and there's the bandages that go inside of the kit and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please comment like subscribe and tap that bell for more crafty goodness from Sandy's handiwork remember be blessed and be a blessing bye bye now